This week I've got a real beauty for you. Introducing the new 2020 Lincoln Aviator Grand Touring, a three row luxury plug-in hybrid SUV. I really like the sleek looks of this SUV. It's got fantastic LED lights in the front and rear, front fog lamps, a lit Lincoln emblem in the grill, 21 inch wheels, rear spoiler and quad exhaust. Here's the big news with the Grand Touring versus the regular Aviator. Under the big aluminum hood is a 3 liter V6 with twin turbochargers and a 13.6 kilowatt lithium ion battery. Together, they're putting out, and pay attention here, 494 horses and an amazing 634 pound feet of torque. My tester has a 10 speed automatic with shift paddles and it is all wheel drive. Reach inside the door handle and open the electric door with soft close option to reveal a stunning interior. You first see the heated and cooled 30 way power adjustable seats that feature ultra soft pillowing. It even has separate power thigh supports and of course they will massage you. As you set to begin your adventure you hit the start button on top of the dash and you're greeted by two welcoming screens that display beautiful clouds. Instead of the usual chimes you hear music recorded just for Lincoln by the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. The gauge cluster is bright and configurable and if you look through the heated steering wheel you see the best and most informational head-up display I've ever seen. Everything operates from a 10.1 inch touchscreen that operates audio, Bluetooth, navigation, a host of apps and vehicle settings. You can swipe left or right to access a ton of info and you can turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot. You can also monitor the hybrid system. Under that, your climate controls and your transmission shift buttons, which I like a lot. All this flows into a pass-through center console with cup holders, a couple of storage areas, and a center glove box. There's also a cell phone charger, but it's a little bit hard to get your phone out. This is also where you change the drive modes. You can choose from normal, slippery, deep conditions, conserve, pure EV, preserve EV, and by far my favorite, Excite. Heading to the rear, there are heated and air-conditioned captain's chairs in the center row with cup holders between them, a four-zone climate control system, and power outlets. A button on top of the center seats moves them forward for access to the powerful third row seats, which will fit two adults nicely. Cargo area is really good even with the third row seats up and there's a nice storage area under the floor. Under that, you'll find a spare tire. The lift gate is powered and Lincoln even put an emblem to show you where the lift gate button is. My review vehicle has the almost $15,000 elements package, which includes a panoramic moonroof, trailer towing package, the dynamic handling package, and the Copilot 360 Plus package, which is adaptive cruise control, evasive steering assist, reverse braking assist, and active park assist. Everything else you see here is standard equipment except the $695 charge for the paint. Some cool things about the Aviator is the voice command button, which is located on the steering wheel where your thumb goes. You can use your cell phone to unlock and start the car. However, if there's a battery failure, you can unlock the SUV with the actual key from a small hole under the outside mirror. Aviator has an incredibly smooth ride thanks to air suspension. It handles great, especially in excite mode, and overall it's just a joy of an SUV Lincoln thought of everything. I could do without the electric opening doors, they're a little bit hard to open from the inside, but otherwise I love everything about this SUV, especially the acceleration. It does take a little getting used to, you'll throw yourself against the seat if you're not careful. Fuel economy is 23 combined on gas only. When you add the battery range, it becomes 56 E MPG, according to the EPA. The range on battery only is 21 miles fully charged, so you need a short commute to make the hybrid system work for you. However, you don't buy this hybrid SUV for the fuel economy. It's all about the power and performance, and it does not disappoint. The regular Aviator puts out 400 horses, but if you want to up that to almost 500, it'll cost you roughly $12,000 over the price of the reserve model. Total MSRP on my ultra-loaded pristine white Grand Touring Package 
is $83,940 before the $6,534 federal hybrid tax credit is applied. If you're a Lincoln lover and the Navigator is too big and the Nautilus is too small, this is the one for you. Thanks for riding along with us today for another Car Pro Test Drive. This week with the all new 2020 Aviator Grand Touring Plug-In Hybrid. Now, if you think this may be your dream SUV, click Certified Dealers at CarProUSA.com to find the nearest Lincoln dealer to you.